A good mm. morning. Welcome back to Morning Live. My name is Vasiwe Ngoba for your sports desk. A final look at your sports news now for today. Sunday morning at exactly 5.30 a.m. in Peter Maritzburg City Hall will be the 2023 Comrades Marathon. It gets underway there and it's 87.7 kilometer dash out to the Kingsmead Kickert Stadium. And our two guests this morning know all too well about getting to the finish line. We do have the winner from the 1991 race, Nick Bester, joining us as well well as the 2019 champion, Edward Motibi. Good morning, Edward. Good morning, Nick. Thank you so much for joining us on Sports on Morning Live. Thank you and good morning. Good, good morning. All right. So, Nick, I want to start with you. Now, you won that race in 1991. And we've heard you say before that it was just getting over the mental challenge of the race. Talk to us about what you mean about that and what your preparation for the race involved from a mental point of view. Yeah, if we can start off and say that the Comrades is normally uh, close to 90 kilometers. And that's a long way to run for a human, for a human and a body. And the main thing to conquer that and to, especially to win the race, there's a lot of athletes in the race that's got the same idea. But the one with the mental attitude and the, and, 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 and the mental strength, that's the guy that's at the end of the day going to win the race. And that's also what the people must remember just to finish the race, to be mentally strong. Your body will follow. Your body is strong enough to do it as long as your mind wants your body to do it. And Nick, what did you do specifically to make sure that your mind was strong enough for that particular race? Because we know that there were likes of Bruce Fordyce, who a lot of people were saying is the man to beat when it comes to the comrades. But you went into that race and you said to yourself, I can beat Bruce Fordyce. Yeah, uh, first I made use of a psychiatrist, but also I discovered how to use your mind. They always uh, say in, in, in sport terms that just use your mind, be strong, you know, be mentally strong. But it's very difficult to teach somebody how to do that. You must discover it yourself. I can't, I can't teach another athlete how to be strong in his, in, to use your mind to be strong. You have to discover the method. I think in 1991, I discovered how to, how to use my mind to be strong and how to use my mind to push my body uh, to the extreme, to be able to do things like winning the comrades, winning the Ironman, winning the Ultraman. And that is the main difference between the guy who won and the guy who came second, is the mental attitude. Talking about the guy who can win and the guy who can come second, Edward, you won the Comrades Mar Marathon in 2019, but you've also experienced coming second in the race. Talk to us about perhaps just how different your 2019 victory race was to when you came out second um, just last year. Uh, <clears throat> for me to, 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 to win the 2019 com Comrades, uh, was the, the training was was different from what I I did last year because of you know that when you run run the uphills, you you have to then train differently differently. Then when you train for the down run run, it's again it's different. different. Indeed. And, and Nick, let's come back to you and talk about how your team dominated in last year's race. And obviously, coming into this year's edition of the race, the other teams will be looking to put their best foot forward. How have you prepared your team for this upcoming Comrades Marathon to ensure that you guys have maximum success once again? I think it's, 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 it's a long-term project. You can't just come and with a team and win the Comrades Marathon. Uh, I started the running clubs way back in 1999. and 2000, we started the first running club under the banner of Harmony Gold Mine. And we built it up till 2008, when NetBank took over the sponsorship uh, of, of the clubs and the runners. And we expanded. We've got clubs in Africa. We've got coaches all over South Africa. We've got a great team. We've got great uh, clubs with... Um, committee members are running the clubs for us. We've got coaches that's looking after development athletes. And uh, it's a team effort. You know, you know, you, you need all these uh, things to come together on the race day. We've got extra sponsors and partners in the likes of 
you know, supplements, Biogen, Future Life, Bavaria, Thirsty Water, and all, it, it's a team effort. It's not just me deciding to go, we're going to go win the race. I've got a host of athletes. You must have depth because uh, depth in your athletes, you can't just rely on one or two athletes because on the race day, anything can happen to them. Before race day, they can they get sick. So you must have a big team, a strong team, and then um, uh, uh, hopefully on, on the race day, one of them will, will forward, uh, will come forward and win the race. There was also other athletes that you have to to take in consideration that maybe can beat your, your team. But I'm very, very, very confident this year, like we were last year, that we can dominate the race. But you just not just want to dominate. You have to win. <laughs> because there's a big difference between second, third, fourth, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten positions than a win. A win is the most important part, and we trained and we tried and prepared to win the race on Sunday. All right, and of course, we'll have to wait until Sunday to see how that training will come in handy come that Comrades Marathon. Edward, just from your perspective, I think at some point you probably used to sit and watch the Comrades Marathon and say, one day I want to race in this race. What do you say to the people sitting at home now wanting to one day be in Edward Mutibi, wanting to one day run the Comrades and be victorious? How do you inspire them? Uh, I can just say the... Uh, don't let your, your dream seems go away. Uh, you can dream, but you have to make sure that you keep that dream. Yes. And you must have the faith, the faith that one day I will do this. Thank you so much, Edward, for your time this morning. And uh, we look forward to seeing what's going to be done in the Comrades Marathon this weekend. We were, of course, joined by Edward Matibi, the 2019 Comrades winner, as well as the 1991 winner. That was, of course, Nick Best joining us right here in Morning Live.